Gary, another confident performance? Yeah, I think that was um, probably the best performance we've had out of the four. Um, I thought the others have been really, really good in many different ways, but probably the most complete. I think that was a little bit of an amalgamation of all of those games. Um, I thought we passed and played with some really good control. I thought we played with some excellent movement in forward areas and created lots of chances with it. The woodwork twice in the first half and created some good opportunities second half as well. So um, we seem to be piecing together the performances better. Uh, you know, we're not getting a, a good half and then a poor half. We're getting two relatively even halves where we're doing lots of things well. So um, really pleased. And, and again, the goal was a, a bonus, um, but I think it would have been harsh if we hadn't have scored and won the game. You say there, going forward, it was brilliant as well, but also that's the third clean sheet out of four, building from the back. Well, we've conceded one goal in, in, in four games, haven't we? So um, against four very good sides and, and very different sides again. You know, Rotherham was a different test, very physical test, put lots of balls in, in on top of you and, and, and get some second balls as well. Um, and I thought we dealt with that really, really well. So, um, yeah, the, clean, the clean, clean sheets, I love clean sheets. I mean, I take as much pleasure out of clean sheets as I do winning games. Because for me, that's a team working hard for each other and that's a team showing the right principles and the right work ethic uh, and I think you know for me that's the that's the, the 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 base for any successful team it appears that you've given many of the squad uh, confidence and none so more than Andy Shinner yeah I think Shinner has been really good since we come in first few training sessions he looked a bright footballer and looks a good footballer and what you want in that position is rather than sometimes if you play two up you end up with lots of spaces around where people can exploit and I think someone like Shin's gets in those little positions, he drifts in those little areas um, and he's got really, really good feet and really good understanding of the game. I think the one thing we need out of him now, uh, you know, because his performance have, uh, have got better and better and better and his confidence is building, he's just be a little bit more positive shooting. I mean, he did it first half, he's got half a yard, he's at the post um, and I think he can do that more. You know, I think he's a terrifically talented player, but sometimes I think you need players to play games and once they get four, five, six games then you can start to judge them on how good a player they are and, and certainly at the moment uh, you know he's been getting better uh, as he goes along. And a deserved goal for Clayton Donaldson today? Yeah Clayton put a, a, a monumental shift in, in terms of his work rate um, and even if he hadn't scored the goal I think the work rate alone would have been enough to warrant his place in the team you know because I thought it was fantastic team efforts from him, um, really unselfish and, and Bizarrely enough, sometimes when you work that hard for the team, you end up getting rewarded. Um, and he missed the first chance, which he fought on the back of one or two that you know, he might have done better with early on. But he's getting into those positions. Um, you just worry that he might not then be able to finish, finish it off. And I think he controlled it on the floor, got up, showed great composure, finished it off for the 1-0 win. Um, my worry at that point was that that might rouse Rotherham into a you know, last 15, 20 minutes of, of serious pressure and chances. Um, but I thought we saw it out really well. And a superb following today from the Blues fans. Oh, they were amazing. They were absolutely brilliant today. Um, you know, that wall of blue behind the goal. And, and, and not just that, it's, it's OK coming up in numbers and there's lots of teams that support their team in numbers. Um, but we supported in voice today. I mean, the, the, the crowd never stopped singing. Very, very supportive. Um, and I think what's really important is there's going to be games along the way where we might not play quite so well. Um, you know, we might not win the games and that's when we're going to need them to be behind us just as much. Um, you know, and I've said it all along, I think together we can achieve something. And at the moment, um, we're really pleased with how we've started you know, the four games.